crazy how three numbers can turn me from a friend to a flight threat. Like I had the ability to turn my watch into a bomb set and any time I spoke an Arabic phrase they would all look so afraid like saying Assalamu Alaikum was code for. Let's blow up the place. And I apologize for the 19 inhumane. But no, the 99% of us are saying maybe I'm overreacting. Honestly, what country would take the actions of a few and blame it on a whole civilization? Thank God we don't live in that nation. I live in the land of the free. Sworn up and down for both you and me, but freedom is tested throughout history. So forgive me if I don't see too blind and deaf to see sanity and never hear reality. In a land where freedom doesn't really come free. Stairs. Screaming whispers and pity. Any time a teacher brings up New York City, I am labeled. Organized on the media's table. Those Muslims are so unstable. Fighting in armies against peace. The more of us, the more crime rates increase. 3,000 deceased and I apologized. Numerous times. Even though it had nothing to do with me. You call me that girl with a veil that's oppressed. But when you see a nun walk, you give her the utmost respect. But I want you to get to know me and what I believe. Don't let them twist your minds to deceive. Don't trust everything that is said. All the media wants is hatred to be spread. And tomorrow I'll introduce you to my scarlet letter. When I was a little girl, I never used to walk next to my mother because of how others viewed her. They didn't even know who we were. All those stares, all those whispers never fazed her. All I wanted was to be from here. But claiming this country would mean I was to forget I'm from there. How do you forget what brought you here in the first place? It's like looking at your ma and saying, hey, what you are is a waste, because I'm from here today. All the struggles, all the history that goes through my veins is no more than just history. Now that's insane. Now I tell them I'm from there and I say it proudly, because these ignorant idiots don't know anything about me. Now try not to see what is seen and listen to me. There is terrorism and there are terrorists living. But I'm here to remind you that that's not a religion. I pity the media because their minds need help. Love me or hate me as long as you do it by yourself. I break stereotypes on a daily basis. A slick worded hijabi. Oof, oof, oof. You should have seen their faces. So when I introduce myself tomorrow, I want you to get to know me. And not the preconceived idea of me.